Hi everyone again. Um, as I said in my previous tutorial, I'm having to break this into smaller um, tutorials so that they upload properly, which probably might be better for you. Um, today, or this one here, is going to be about fun foam. Now in America, or just foam, uh, it's really cheap it's pennies but here in the UK we pay pounds rather than pennies it's really quite expensive here um, it's not something that we always have available to us and I certainly don't think that we'll have um, that will change anytime soon so these two cards I've done, they're a mess. That's why I, I use them as samples. I've spilt coffee and tea on them. I've done all sorts to them by mistake, but they served their purpose for me to show you. Now, they both um, stand away from there, so they both got layers. And this was Cheryl B. Um, she's a US Stamping Up demonstrator. And if you were thinking about joining her team or from, um, you know, her becoming your, um, in de you know, customer, I can't think of anyone better. Now, she has not asked me to say that, and I think she will <laughs> wonder why I said it, but she's so good. She's, she's brilliant. She has her own ideas, own ideas and doesn't copy anyone. And that, to me, is a good thing. Right, so... That one there has got foam on, and that one, I'll show you here because that got stuck down. And that one there has got cardboard in. So you can use cardboard to um, give yourself some dimension, or you can get some scrap paper we've all got scrap paper we've all got white scrap paper if anyone says they haven't got white scrap paper they've not been crafting long enough um you can always layer it up so it looks solid so there's the options to fun foam and i'm not being funny but white card is a heck of a lot cheaper right so here we go it also die cuts beautifully I'm showing you this because I will be um, using this um, on my oh, stamping positioner and doing backgrounds in light, um, in clear pearl. Um, I love it and it gives a wonderful thing. So all I'll do is put some temporary um, snail or whatever onto there and then stamp it now i'm going to right so let's get them out of the way because we've kind of done them now you can shrink fun foam now when someone said that's good as a, a cloud when you look at it against a card which i do have here it looks a bit big for a cloud However, if you put on the smaller one, it looks more realistic, I, th I think. So you can shrink foam foam. And it, it's really funny, This it, it doesn't smell at all. This one definitely doesn't smell. It leaves no smell at all, and I know that some do. Um, but I, it just tickles me pink that you can turn anything into smaller smaller patterns now it will curl up one way so when you flip it over and um, heat it from the other side it's only, only a normal heat gun um, your like embossing gun and um, it straightens itself out and it's nice and small now this one here I am going to show you the way to get this on perfectly because I done a card it still drives me mad and I can't look at it because the spacing between that and that are different 
this is how anal I can get. It annoys me immensely. So I thought I'd try and get it off, but I think it's just going to ruin the card. So anyway, we're going to ignore that. Now I'm going to put some glue on this because I'm gluing it on because I want to use this for quite a while. Now you are going to put it on opposite to how you would read it. So when you stamp it, it will stamp out properly. So we are going to just and this will help it stay in shape rather than it go out of shape and it look wrong exactly like that other one did but I, I surely that other people have got to feel this way I'm sure it's, it can't just be me can it oh. perhaps it is right so now I'm going to take this and I am going, to, I don't care what, where it goes because I can. Right, so I'm just going to hold that down and leave it to dry because some foam takes a while longer. So, now we go on to these. Now, I don't know if these are, are still available. If they are, that's good. If they're not, those of you that have them are also. So that one was for that. So you can do anything smaller. This one, I'm, I'm really not sure if it's still available. However, some of us do have things that aren't available anymore because it's not like we throw it all away when stamping up the tyres or most of us don't do that so you can do excuse that I made a bit of a boo boo you can do scallops with it and then my next trick And this one will only work on this one is ugh, you'll get your you'll stamp your stamp on there and then if you feed that back in there's um, some slots there if you feed it in between there it's nice and easy and then you are going to line it up so it gives you the perfect diamond there Okay, you can take your time and do it, and there it makes a perfect um, fish tail or flag, or depends who you're listening to. So that I know some people use squares, but that one you can stamp on straight away and cut it out. So if that's that's it. Oh, I've still got a little while yet to go. That's good. Now, yes, actually, let me just see if this is done now. Right, so on the bits that, on the bits that are stuck, I shall just remove those. Trust me, it doesn't matter what it looks like. But that is how it went in. So that is how it looks. It's, it is supposed to be higgledy-piggledy. Um, let's try that one. I don't know if this was probably the best colour to start off with. Right, so... Still watching the time. <laughs> After a while, that will um, mellow out. It always does. At first, you think, "Oh no, that's terrible." It will be okay. Now, I'm probably going to be silly because this probably hasn't set yet, 
and it needs to be fully set but you can yeah see it isn't fully set but when it is you can just clean it off with a baby wipe but make sure you use the permanent glue and then leave it to dry is because I'm trying to squash it into a a much quicker but yeah see it's mellowing out already so I keep that to one side how long have we got? 10 minutes. We've got five minutes, people, before the next one. I don't like this timed thing. I like to have fun with you all. Right, so as you saw, I used the, the background on that one to place that perfectly. Now, on this one, <clears throat> this one, now this is, um, I've cut this out in fo uh, foam so that I could put dimensions on. But because it's quite a bit big word, so if you keep the bit that it's come out of, you can then use it as a guide to make it perfect. Ish. It's a long word, so you would have time to move it along. That's just one silly little tip about the amount of times I see things that have gone wonky and I thought, why didn't you just do that? And I bet every time people see what I do, think the same. Right, so, now then, now then, now then, we'll go with these. If you buy mini seed beads, oh, sorry again. Okay. You can dye them in other colours. So I'm going to be doing shaker cards with the um, Hero Arts um, heart. Um, oh, I don't know what they're called. Shakers, that's it. And they fit in there lovely. But all you need to do is dye, dye them with alcohol ink leave them to dry and then when they have they're all going to be like clumped together but just stir them and then, then they work perfectly if you buy the or if you have the desiccant which comes in with shoes and handbags my belief is you can actually keep that and use stamping up refills with it but I've never done that so I can't say for sure whether that is true so I'm I um, all as I know for sure is that when I tried with alcohol inks, I tried this with dye inks, these are the seed beads, it didn't work, but it does work on the alcohol markers, which um, Copic refills, Ranger's um, alcoholic refills, and also we have now the Alter New um, refills, so... There's certainly enough over there, out there, so you could do those if you wanted. You might not want to, but they're not static, so they don't stick to everything. Because believe it or not, again, I don't like it all sticking together. Like I said, I have issues. Right, so I'm going to call this off for now, and I'm going to upload it. And then we are going to go into the next one. So, I will see you shortly. Bye, big hugs.